What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Souls and today we are taking a look at a fake knockoff switch. But just before I get started people make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notifications if you want to upload any video you'll actually be notified. And for those of you that follow me on social media make sure you follow me because I always leave sneak peeks on there and I received some great products today which are in the background right here so if you want to see what I've received and check out my social media as uh, you'll probably get to know what is upcoming on all sorts and also my youtube community as well so today we have a knockoff switch we're taking a look at this and see what kind of games they are hopefully a trip down memory lane will bring some old games that i used to play back in the days but uh, yeah i know this doesn't compare to the original but we're going to see what it's like so anyways let's get started what's happening people let's just get straight into it and let's take a look at the box first and then we'll uh, see what's inside so at this uh, front of the box video games you got a controller picture music picture and a video picture so it's probably mp4 play music player as well and a gaming console uh, it has a five inch display screen um, as you can tell here, here's a picture of it but we're going to see what it looks inside uh, because I'm not, I have no idea what it looks like. Uh, video games on the bottom and taking a look on the side you've got a few uh, information. This package contains important information which must be retained so you've got it in English and Chinese and that's about it. Nothing else, just video games, uh, 8G, 8G, whatever it uh, means. And yeah, we're doing on the other side, and that's about it, people. That is the box. So, just before we take a look at the console itself, as you can see, you can see a little bit right there. Let's see what else we get inside the box. So, you have a micro USB wire. You've also got some cheap knockoff earphones. Now, these are oh, what I used to get back in the day. Look how cheap they are. Let me just show you, open it up, and actually show you how cheap, oh look at that, you can actually tell by the sound of the, that plastic, but these, you know what, that's how cheap they are, you can just push them and they will actually just break, so that's how cheap them earphones are, and you've also got some manuals, which we never actually read so you've got them in english and chinese as well and that's it that's what we get inside the box so let's take a look at the console and here it is <laughs> of course it's not going to be the same i know that already and there we go people um i'm pretty sure that the sides don't actually come off yes they don't because they're just colored on as you can see right there but let's just take a look around the console you've got some buttons here in green yellow red and uh, blue you've also got a controller here a minus button sign on the left hand side and a right uh, plus button sign on the right hand side you've also got some more buttons here x y b and a and also select and start so taking a look around it's uh, pretty much basic console to be honest taking a look at the back you've got a few um, uh, ports here so you've got a tf uh, memory card port here a usb port a headphone jack port and a hdmi cable port and also a uh, oh, i don't know what that button is a back button let's try and switch this on um, no idea where to switch this on from oh that is a power button it looked like a, a headphone jack button, but that is a power button so hopefully it's got some juice in it and we can switch it on and check to see what it's like there we go check that out people right so um well, well look look at the sound of that that's definitely running some next level old uh, operating system so let's see so you've got uh, games music so you can put music on from your sd card you've got some videos which you can put videos on from your sd card photos from your sd card ebook no idea what that is so let's press select is that how we do it be you know dictionary as well no idea how, how it Oh, so dictionary, you have to press it with Y or whatever. So let's go back. Which one's back? That one. Check that out, people. No idea how you go back on this. Oh, so these are the volume buttons as well. So it's going to take me a bit of time to get used to it. I think start 
is where we go back. Is it? I have no idea. I have no idea how to use this. How do you go back? How do you get out of here? That's the main thing. Quick jump cut. Okay, I ended up just switching off and switching it back on. No idea how you get out into the main menu. But yeah, you got another stopwatch, internet browser as well. Wow. Uh, two um, settings. Let's, well, tools. What else you got in tools? Calendar and calculator. Settings. You got your display, power saving, date and time, language, TV output, and your advanced. Let's go into advance. See what we got. Select font, select ketone, effect settings, search folder, and uh, so on. To be honest, but how do we get out of here? No, I don't want that. There's the volumes. I'm just gonna hold the back button. That doesn't even actually. What about the select and the start? that's not doing nothing i have no idea how you actually go back to the home is it twitch screen no <laughs> i wanted some no it's not twitch screen right another jump cut I have no idea how you get into, once you've gone into a setting or um, an application, I have no idea how you actually go back. So we're, what we're going to do is just go straight into games and uh, let's see what kind of games they've got. After function. Super Mario Brothers, let's go. How do we start it? Oh, we're in Super Mario, people. Check that out. One player. Got no volume, though. Got no volume. Okay, here we go. Super Mario. This is really hard. To bloody um, how do you jump? Oh, check that out. This is not a good version of the Switch. Definitely, just a cheap knockoff on the Switch. Oh, I've got to get that. But this does bring back a memory from back in the days when I used to play it on like a Sega Mega Drive. Who remembers the Sega Mega Drive? There was the game, 16 bit. Maybe they could go down there. I think it's this one. Oh, yes, we're in, we're in. We've got to collect the coins. These are you ready. This game actually brings back some right memories. There we go. I've clocked the uh, clocked the first game. So how do we get out of here? Alright, let's press exit. So there's only one game. That is crap. That it's just one game. No, we need to exit. So there's only one game that is no good, that people. That is no good. Anyways, that was the fake knockoff uh, Switch. As you can tell, it's just a cheap copy uh, console with one game on it. I'm pretty sure you can actually get different games on it. So you guys just got to download them or put them onto an SD card and that's about it but yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you again for another video